this question, we have a simple sea salt with the nails weighing in at the 75 kilograms, which is 735 newtons. So I'll draw an arrow straight down to represent 735 newtons, a distance of 2.3 meters from the fulcrum. We have a 4.2 kilogram board that weighs at uh, 41.2 newtons downwards. And that's a distance of zero meters from the fulcrum. And some paint about right here, 40 kilograms, weighing in at 392 meters. Now that's an unknown distance x from the point of rotation. I'm just going to draw a dotted line there and label that as an x distance. We don't know what that is. The job in this question is to find that x and also to find the force normal which is acting right on the fulcrum. Well, to start, we will uh, use the second condition of equilibrium, and that would be the sum of all torques equals zero. So we'll do that symbol. The sigma of all of the torques is equal to zero. Now the nails is causing rotation that is clockwise, so that'll be negative torque. So we'll set that equal to a negative 735. And we ask, how far are we from the point of rotation? Well, that's 2.3 meters, so then we'll put 2.3 there. And uh, 4.2 kilograms is right on the fulcrum, which is the point of rotation of the little circle that represent that. That would be a distance of zero, so there's no torque associated with that. Now we go to the paint. That's going to cause rotation in this direction, okay, and that is our positive torque, which is counterclockwise. So we'll go plus 392. And we don't know the distance to the point of rotation, so we'll make that equal to an x. Okay, and then we can uh, find out what x is very simply then. And x is equal to 4.3 meters. Okay, so that was the first condition, or actually the second condition of static equilibrium. First condition is the sum of all forces equals zero, and we will use that to find the normal force. So we'll say sum of all forces in the y direction equals zero. In this case, there are no x forces. And uh, we see that there's a force normal going upwards, minus uh, 392 downwards, minus a 41.2 downwards, and minus a 735 downwards. Okay, and then uh, we can figure out force normal. Just adding that up, and of course it must go to the other side and become positive. That is 1168 newtons. And that's how we analyze a seesaw.